Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. So day 10 takes us to the 9th of uh, September. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SGFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe run to around a couple of weeks. Of course, have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say for the pieces out, guys. Whatever it is today, we've reached 6 m UK weather forecast. The third and final autumn. 2025 season one round up ahead of our autumn forecast of course tomorrow guys gonna reveal it all tomorrow don't know. And uh, also, a bit of channel member exclusive. The East Sherman Day 42 day uh, exclusively for channel members. That has been released today as well. So, like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For guys, for women, this. Thank you so much, everyone. We've got one more uh, reveal. I should have done this yesterday, but I was really pushed to tires. Worked on the autumn forecast uh, yesterday morning. And so, I was really, really pushed to time. Quite pushed for time today, but I'm going to do the reveal today. Uh, for the final um, calendar entry. So this is our December 2026 for the Gas Webby's calendar. Wow, 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 wow. Winter Wonderland. Walking in the winter wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, everyone, but it is a proper winter wonderland uh, picture. So, and uh, thank you so much for submitting this, and congratulations to Fisk. Uh, congratulations to Fisk for submitting uh, this picture. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It doesn't uh, get much more of a winter wonderland than that, does it? So uh, that is the 12 uh, reveals. So the Gals Women's Candor, I can tell you, will be going on sale starting Monday, 1st of September. That's when you'll be able to buy the uh, calendar. Uh, so you're going to be retailing at £13. That's £10 of the calendar, £3 per your package. We've had to put that up by 50 pence since last year due to the um you know the prices of the of the royal mail and whatnot going up uh but i think that's still pretty competitive i think that's still a decent price 13 pounds in total three pounds postage 10 pounds for the calendar and um you'll be able to uh, send that to our paypal page so the link's in the description with the video so just send 13 pounds and we'll get the calendar out to you um, and uh, that's great. So uh, from Monday, you will be able to buy the Gals Webby's 2026 uh, calendar from the first day of September, the first day of Meet Josh Cool Autumn. I love it. So uh, more about that as well tomorrow. Thank you so much to all of our uh, entrants and congratulations to all of them, uh, all of you uh, as well. More about that tomorrow. Right, OK, we're going to start off with the latest winter map from UrbanNoSchool.net. Show that low pressure is in control. So quite a deep area of low pressure actually sitting to the west of the UK and Ireland and bringing in this uh, westerly flow from off the Atlantic. So it's going to be turning, uh, or it's turning wet, winding with that area of low pressure. Quite, quite an active uh, front push across the country as well, bringing some uh, pretty heavy rain with it as well. There's more low pressure downstream as well. Another one around there uh, for later on next week. Central England temperature is uh, currently sitting at 17.9. That's 2.1 degree. Above 61 to 90 on the average. It's provisional the 28th of August. And these are the GFS upper air temperature precipitation ensembles. A couple of weeks on Sheffield today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Sheffield. Around average with the upper air temperature at the moment. We will see them uh, lifting up as we go through into the second week of uh, September, but only briefly. Overall, nothing particularly exciting going on from a temperature perspective. It's also a little bit zonal there, I have to say. We've got some uh, warmer and uh, cooler sectors alternating but uh, overall not particularly exciting from a temperature perspective the main thing and you know main, the main issue as we've been talking about in videos over the past week or so is the change to more unsettled weather so we have got precipitation spikes from beginning to uh, end there looks like particularly the first week of september shaping up to be quite wet and that could extend out into the second week of the month 
as well. Temperature anomalies for the next five days support for September going to be above average in the east end or slightly below average in the west. Uh, 10 to 14 day again, average is slightly above. Precipitation anomalies next seven days to the 6th of September and largely west is average, especially so the more southern and western regions. Although 10 to 16 day, interestingly, is shifting a bit dry. So it might be a bit of a drying trend there up to the middle part of the month. Okay, let's start going for chart data. And Miss Savile H UK bet you're a run. Looking for midnight on Tuesday. Low pressure bearing down. Looking rather wet and windy. And so as we go through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, further low pressure. Pushing through by the end of next week, though, and into uh, next weekend, the first weekend of September. Possibly signs of a bit of a reach trying to get going south. Could bring something a little bit drier and warmer into more uh, southern regions. Although, having said that, still it's quite unsettled, particularly so to the north and to west. Right, well, ICON, uh, again, low pressure is barreling through throughout much of this week, even into next weekend. That's midnight next Saturday. Further low pressure bringing uh, more wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic. So, ICON set uh, unsettled to uh, next weekend, which is a big change, isn't it? Big, big pattern change here. May not last much more than a week, 10 days, but, uh, you know, uh, at the moment, it looks very significant. KMA again with low pressure pushing through. Check that one out. That's uh, the 4th of September uh, next week. So that brings some very wet, possibly quite stormy weather even into uh, the south there. Bit of a ridge attempt around the 5th of the 6th of September. But uh, that's quickly swept aside by more low pressure coming in off the land. So it's 11th of September and basically still looking unsettled with low pressure chart in the ascendancy. Um, this is our GFS big night run. Looks again, low pressure dominates. Bit of a rich attempt by the end of next week. That's big night next Saturday. Try to build up some heights into the south. And perhaps some quite warm air just flirting, or some quite hot air actually, just flirting with far south and south east. But again, quickly pushed aside by low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. An attempt to get a ridge going in the south there by the 12th of September. That low pressure keeps on coming up to the north. That's a more defined area of high pressure trying to get going by mid-month. That's quite cool, though, high pressure just out to our west. A little bit more anti I think, for the GFS uh, midnight run there. But GFS 6, then, in comparison, has low pressure pushing through. Both staying unsettled throughout much of next week with bouts of rain to come. By the end of next week, next Saturday, there is an attempt to start building a ridge over and to the east of the country. But again, that's quickly pushed aside by the next low heading in uh, as we head towards days 9 and 10. So uh, that gets us to the 9th of September looking rather wet and windy. And the low pressure keep on coming. So uh, more low pressure dominated with the 6th egg bed. Midnight run. Tell us there's a bit of uncertainty here within the GFS and its uh, ensemble, I think. That's how we end up by the 15th of September. High pressure is tempting to get going in the south, but the north still looking quite unsettled. I think it's going to be quite an unsettled, quite a wet first half of September, I have to say. Uh, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Make sure you drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this sound, all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web well, Design. Get them to subscribe too. And uh, we thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that. Thank you so much everyone. Right to GM, again with uh, low pressure in control and in the ascendancy through uh, next week, bringing bouts of rain, particularly to the north and west, but could be a little bit down in the southeast as well. Bit of an attempt to get a ridge going down in the south, but it uh, doesn't look like that's going to last very long. That's a very deep area of low pressure around Iceland, isn't it? I think a sense of pressure of that going down to about 965 millibars there. By day 10, 9th of September, probably a bit over the top, but uh, there's not much chance of high pressure sticking around. <laughs> I don't think with a uh, low pressure that deep around Iceland. So if we could go on another 24 hours, that would probably turn, um, well, it will turn uh, unsettled and probably turn quite cool as well. The gale force northwesterly getting going, I would have thought. And then uh, the ECM rounds it all off. So low pressure pushing through uh, as we go through next week. We'll bring spells of rain with it. Attempt to get a ridge going into uh, next week, the first week of September. But comes to naught as more low pressure heads in off the Atlantic to day 10. And beyond it, low pressure carries on being in the ascendancy. Just at the very end, a bit of a ridge building into the south. Something a bit drier there, but the north looking 
uh, rather mixed. Well, this precipitation forecast based on the East Chevron from Spread.com. So here's today's rain coming in from off the Atlantic. Proper Atlantic band of rain. Been a while since we've seen uh, one of those pushing across the country. And that leaves us with showers then following in its wake before more heavy rain piles up for south around the middle part of uh, next week, Tuesday to Wednesday. And then, uh, you know, into the, the second half of next week, further rain is pushing through as well. And still with more wet weather as we head toward day 10, especially focus on England and Wales, a wet night for September there. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. The Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 9th of September. 15 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure, more or less over the country. We've got 12 with low pressure just to the west. High pressure is to the east. That's a little bit uh, that's a little bit drier for the east and settled for the west. It's quite warm though. Winds coming up from the south. We've got another 12 with low pressure over top of the country. Um, we've got six building in a ridge. Um, so, obviously, that's going to be drier. And then we've got uh, another six with low pressure generally to the north, high pressure to the south. And so that's looking uh, a little bit flat and westerly. I think most of the options are still looking unset about day 10, to be honest, today. At two weeks in two weeks time, these are the options that we've got. Go to the 14th of September, 15 members of the ECM ensembles with a ridge of the southwest to the northeast. So it would be quite a lot of dry weather with that. We've got another 15 with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. We look rather flat and westerly with that. We've got 10, perhaps strengthening the high pressure over to the south of the country. We've got six with high pressure building to the east, and we've got five with high pressure just to the north and to the north thing. So day 10, most of the options seem to be involving low pressure. Day 14, there is a stronger hint of some higher pressure, but I think so. We might be in for something a bit drier, perhaps around the middle part of the month. Let's see what CFS has to say about that idea. So again, these are 500 millibar height anomalies have broken down into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 30th of August, 5th of September. Low pressure is atop the country. And then week two will be the 6th through to the 12th of September with high pressure to the uh, north and west then. So... You know, a little bit more of a higher pressure influence. And that carries on uh, strengthening to week three. So it's the 13th to the 19th of September. High pressure and back in control. Mostly dry, potentially warm or very warm with winds in from a uh, easy south east direction. And then finally week four rounds it all off. It's the 20th uh, to 26th of September with low pressure north and high pressure south. We're back into like a westerly flow. So a bit of a changeable September, but there is a period of drier and warmer weather there for the middle and second half of the month, and we shall see as ever. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let's say what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys, my videos. Don't subscribe to you. Thanks so much for everyone for doing that. So tomorrow is the big one. We're going to reveal. Reveal all. Guys, going to reveal all. Oh, you don't want to miss that. Uh, maybe you do. Um, no, it's the autumn 2025 forecast from Gaz. It's tomorrow being released at 10 a.m. Uh, also got 6 a.m. forecast, 10 to 14 there. I'm afraid, so I had been hoping to do one last Sunday roundup um, this weekend. But uh, time has just run away from me. So, unfortunately, we have actually had our final Sunday roundup for uh, this year. And that occurred... Uh, back in July. I'm so sorry about that, everyone. But it means that when we do the uh, winter updates, because, of course, when we get your forecast that way, next thing we're on to with long range is winter updates. So it means that uh, when we do the winter updates, uh, well, first winter update, next study, everything you see will be fresh, I guess. You won't have seen you know, seen, seen it on, in the study roundup. So I guess there's that going for it. But for anybody who's waiting for the final study roundup, I'm so sorry about that. It's just, you know, one of those situations where I've got a second job to do. I've got the auto forecast to do. And the long-range forecast do take a lot of time. You know, there's a lot that goes into the long-range forecast. Prepare me, analogs, etc., etc. I won't go into that. But, like, you know, 
it's time consuming. So unfortunately, I've just run out of time to do uh, to do the Sunday roundup for August. Uh, but uh, winter updates coming, of course, next Sunday. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got your forecast due tomorrow. That'll be released tomorrow at 10 a.m. So if you're looking forward to that, you know, uh, that's coming up tomorrow. Well, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'm off for another afternoon and evening shift at What the Gap. So if you're passing by on the north, then uh, drop in. I'll do you, I'll do you pasta. Um, but uh, for today's videos, anyway, that's all for now. And thanks so much. <laughs>